Hi friends, I am Dr. Anita, your fertility consultant from Garbagudi IVF Center. Today we will discuss about the role of PGT in IVF. What is this PGT? That is pre-genetic testing, pre-implantation genetic testing. It is nothing but finding out which are the healthy embryos to find out the abnormalities or genetic abnormalities in the embryos created through IVF in order to prevent the transformation of these genetic diseases to the offsprings or children or future generation. So this is specifically done in case of IVF and for embryos only. So what in all there are different varieties of pre-genetic testing. It can be PGTM, PGTA and PGTSR. PGTM is pre-implantation genetic testing for monogenic diseases. Like uh, for a specific disease, if we want to know that if we know that the couple are carrying a specific disease, either the mother or the father, then such specific diseases can be diagnosed through PGTM, like sickle cell anemia, fragile X syndrome, or neurofibromatosis, cystic fibrosis, such conditions can be diagnosed and can be prevented. So, but through this testing, if we identify the healthy embryo, those embryos can be transferred to the mother's womb and can achieve pregnancy and a healthy baby. Another is PGTA that is pre-genetic testing for aneuploidies that is in general if they are having like either absence of some chromosome missing chromosome or presence of an extra chromosome. So like uh, example down syndrome if they are if they are having like if the couple are elderly if the mother is more than 35 or 40 years of age if the father is more than 45 and 50 years of age they are going to parent a child then we can go for in general testing for this pgta to identify the aneuploidies or if already there are documented anomalies in the family with the close relatives like first degree relatives or a previous pregnancy or a prior child having such diseases like down syndrome then they can go for this pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidies to identify such diseases. Once diagnosed the healthy embryos, they can go for transfer, embryo transfer and go for a healthy pregnancy. Another is PGTSR, that is pre-implantation genetic testing for structural rearrangements. That is either their own chromosomes, there will be rearrangement, either balance, like translocations or inversions in the chromosomal abnormalities. So such these things, why we have to identify this PGTM, PGTA, PGTSR, mainly such things can, especially the aneuploidies and the structural rearrangements can lead to either the infertility or subfertility that is difficulty in conception or they can go for recurrent pregnancy losses or abnormal children also. So to prevent this only we have to identify. So if any couple are having recurrent pregnancy loss, or recurrent implantation failures that is multiple IVF cycles they are undergoing still they are not able to achieve a pregnancy so in such cases and the couple are aged enough as I already told you like more than 35 years in case of female age and more than 40 or 45 years in case of male then they can go for this testing once the testing is done how this test is done we have to do an IVF create embryos we have to culture them for five days that is still blastocyst stage so in the blastocyst stage, the peripheral cells from the outer layer of the embryo will be taken, one or two cells will be taken and that genetic material will be tested for these abnormalities. If anything is found, then those embryos will be discarded and normal embryos will, will go for the embryo transfer. So once this is done, these embryos will be frozen and they have to go for frozen embryo transfer because the report will take almost 15 to 25 days. So after this, once the advantage is this, that we will identify the healthy embryos and prevent the transformation of genetic diseases to the offsprings. The disadvantage is sometimes all the embryos might come as abnormal. So we won't be knowing. So none of the embryos will be left for transfer. Another is it is expensive. And one more thing is, technically sound the person who is doing this procedure has to be technically sound enough to do otherwise we can result in damage to the normal embryos also and sometimes the inward the mosaicism there is a condition called mosaicism these mosaic embryos might be normal also 
but when we are doing the PGT, it will appear as if they are abnormal embryos. Embryos. So we might land up in discarding the normal embryos also. So these are the disadvantages of this PGT, and advantages is resulting in healthy pregnancies and preventing transformation of the genetic diseases. So what can be done? One the frozen embryo transfer has to be done for this, and IVF has to be undergone, and frozen embryo transfer has to be done. So any couple who have the history of documented genetic abnormalities in the family or aged uh, couple undergoing the IVF procedure or any documented genetic diseases in the family or consanguineous marriages or with a history of recurrent pregnancy losses that is more than two or three pregnancy losses or with a history of recurrent implantation failures that is multiple IVF cycles failure they have to undergo this PGT testing that is pre-implantation genetic testing if any queries or further information is required you can meet us in our center thank you